was a law student at the time at McGill living in the neighborhood and um, we were living you know in co-ops and we were living in brownstones and in converted uh, mansions and we realized I mean slowly but surely that all the buildings that we were living in were going to be demolished it was pre-1976 demolition derby that's what it was so for five dollars and an address any developer promoter owner could go and get a permit and that's what ha was happening so in the summer of 1974 uh, we uh, started a group called CRIS and that's the uh, acronym or Centre de référence d'information sur l'environnement we were uh, funded by the federal government uh, opportunities for youth and uh, I started taking an inventory of all the demolition permits in Montreal, in the center city of Montreal by, by sector. So I went down to City Hall, started writing it down, and I realized that there was this huge ledger, you know, like in a Charles Dickens novel, this huge ledger where we'd turn the pages at the permits department and you'd see an address, you know, uh, Bishop, McGregor, Pine, Metcalf, on all these streets. On every street there was a request for demolition on every single street. So we did an inventory, we did anti-demolition walking tours, and uh, this is the original cut and paste, right? I typed it, I cut it, I pasted, and uh, made this little walking tour here. This is the Golden Square Mile walking tour. And at the time, you had all these highlights of the um, homes that were basically slated for demolition. So as a result of these anti-demolition walking tours, w we got a fair bit of publicity and uh, was pre-election 1974, the first uh, MCM uh, election uh, where they presented candidates. And um, it became an election issue. And the civic government, even though it was Drapo and Hannigan at the time, they decided, okay, finally we'll give in and when they were, when they were re-elected. And they adopted a bylaw, bylaw 5241, which was basically a règlement sur la protection du patrimoine résidentiel, so the protection of residential patrimony, not just heritage buildings, but basically allowing the entire area to be protected by height restrictions. So you couldn't demolish a three-story building to put up a 23-story building. And this is a perfect example. This building was slated for demolition they wanted to put up a 20-story building but after the bylaw came into effect uh, the building was protected and so I'm very proud of it it's a, it's a tremendous legacy I, I go downtown and on every single street I see a building that was protected as a result of these walking tours and and the Bishop Court apartments a good example the Royal George across the street was another example and a lot of buildings in the Golden Square Mile unfortunately we lost the Van Horn Mansion and Subsequent, there were a few other demolitions uh, that happened, but uh, m overall, the, the brownstones that you see in uh, the center city of Montreal, from Atwater to Guy, from Guy to University, from Sherbrooke all the way to the, um, to the mountain, those were protected in that period in 1974.